MJ, we all need to meet at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Listeners, I implore you. Stay inside your homes. Lock the doors. Board the windows. Trust no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like hell itself. They're capturing us, converting us, and will soon overtake us. Don't give them the chance. While the government sits on its hands, my loyal listeners have taken to the forums, looking for any signs of weakness these creatures show. We will defend ourselves. We know we can't count on the Spider-Men to save us. If this last week's events have proven anything beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through this. New York does not go down without a fight. And I will be there. Right next to you, on the front lines. Godspeed, and may we all see tomorrow. You must be asking, when did this turn into a science fiction podcast? I'll tell you, when fiction became reality. As a boy, I would read stories of beings from other worlds who wreaked great terror upon our planet and righteous heroes who wouldn't back down no matter the odds the morals were clear and simple window dressed in outrageous circumstance to escape our humdrum reality <laughs> what i wouldn't give for our boring lives to return now i look out the window and i see a city in panic shelter cries unheard and unanswered. I feel hopeless, powerless in the face of the world, tearing itself apart and being remade in an unrecognizably foreign fashion. <laughs> Those stories used to have happy endings, but I can't promise one right now. All I know is that we need a hero to rise up, and no, before the calls come in, I am not talking about the Spider-Man. I'm talking about our government and the duly elected officials with the power to do something. Save the costumes for Halloween. We need the army. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes got out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. 
No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete. What Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you... We'll come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. <sighs> Don't anyone forget it? Gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. more than just flares behind. Those barrels look wired to blow.
very bad. Plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry!
please! Remember everything we've been through! Did you forget about Flash kicking our asses for four years? But we had each other! Heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite... You took it from us!
they're mad we took their stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. Just wait. 
No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together.
Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive.
Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. <sighs> Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> you ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure? It's, it's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Hey, bro. See you.
What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruin my son. Good. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Hi. I uh, hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. What's up, New York? Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin' alien invasion. And we did it together. As heroes. The Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today, I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes. Author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. 
I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out. With all of you out there, I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up, no exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth, warps it into something else, like a, a... Like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson, signing off. Can you smell the change in the air? It's fresh and clean. A new day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old grievances. Rearrange priorities. While the world waited with bated breath to see if they would be next. New York stood tall and held the line. We did not acquiesce. After we take a moment to celebrate the freedom we fought so hard to retain, we must then turn our sights to the people responsible for putting us in harm's way to begin with. I'm talking about Oscorp and, of course, the Spider-Man. You're going to hear a lot of conflicting reports and lies surrounding the events of last week, but let me assure you, this is still just the facts here. So let's lay them out. Spider-Man was seen wearing a black suit. Then a monster appears wearing a similar suit. Then our proud city is overrun by similar monsters. Oscorp is claiming it's Spider-Man's fault for stealing Oscorp's research. That doesn't surprise me. But Oscorp needs to be held accountable for creating these damn creatures in the first place. This is what happens when corporations try to play God and individuals overreach. Of course, hoping for legal ramifications for wrongdoers is like hoping for an ice cream shop in the desert. We must not forget where the blame lies. We can't forgive either. But for now, enjoy life. We're lucky to have it.